Hello everyone, today in this video I am going to give you an introduction to MATLAB. What is MATLAB? Why is it used? Where it is used? And some key facts about the MATLAB. So let's begin. So what is a MATLAB? Basically a MATLAB stands Matrix Laboratory developed by MathWorks in California. It is the widely used software used by engineers, researchers etc. It allows the user to uh, perform matrix manipulation, plotting, etc. In order to achieve a perfection is in his or her calculations. Some basic symbols used in MATLAB are these. First is the method operator, which we have learned in the primary classes like fourth to fifth, plus numeric class, subtraction, multiplication, division, matrix set division element wise matrix power transpose conjugate etc then next is your relation operator like equal to not equal to less than equal to greater than equal to less than or greater than third is the logical operator which we have been studied in c or c plus plus and logic or and 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 logic or or not this you might have studied in these gates also now these are some special characters which are used during the coding like first is the add the red symbol which is commonly used in mail ids so add the symbol uses the function handle construction and reference calling soup calling a soup class method second is your dot known also known as full stop in common language it is used as a decimal point element wise operation object property and there are so on. If you need the list of these special characteristics, please drop down your uh, mail ID in the comment section and we will provide you the PDF of these special characters. Now let's move on the real MATLAB. How a MATLAB works and what is already. So this is the MATLAB. Here you can see that it says MATLAB R20128 is the 2012 edition. I have the 2019 edition if you want I will upload on the drive and provide you link in the description on based on the comments if needed by the users so let me introduce to this this uh, MATLAB so here is another tab it's a command window in 2012 version the command window opens separately in the future versions that is 2014 15 and 10 20 the co command window is just uh, placed here at the perfect half of this so this is the command window I write some command and show you what is the disadvantage of this command window and the command window which I use personally let me show you so if I write here percentage to perform various operations on matrices okay I see I give an enter and it goes into the next line now I write the coding for say percentage A equals single electrode comma matrix bracket open F bracket close single inverted comma close and a bracket okay now if you can see that I press the enter button it came to the next line so now if you wish that you want to change the F into the another alphabet or make it capital you won't be able to do it here let me show you this is the cursor right here now and I'll take it to the F see it won't change I'm pressing the backspace it will again bring me back to the original place either I can't go up see to perform various motion and it can just repeat the lines if you want I cannot go here I'm again trying I can just select and pressing backspace within the only one way to remove this is 
zoom in the empty space, give it a right click, press this clear command window. I'm sorry to say, but if you have done the long coding and you have an, to do an editing, you have to clear the command window and here it goes. A text will be all text will be cleared from the command window. Okay. So this is the a biggest drawback from my view that using this command window is horrible for doing the long coding as if you find some editing you won't be able to do and you have to remove all the data so let me just minimize it in fact closing it i'll press ctrl plus n As I press Ctrl plus N, a new tab open. You can see here. See, this is the tab. This is the previous tab, and this is the new tab. You can see there are more options and it's different than the command panel. Now the screen is divided into half. If any command goes wrong here, this side, and there is an error in any line. Whenever I run the command, an error will be shown here this in the right right side right plain empty space and immediately take me to that particular line where there is an error <clears throat> so let me now show you I'll repeat the same thing percentage to perform various operation on matrices percentage A equals bracket open inverted comma open single matrix space single bracket open F bracket close single and close and bracket close. See. Now as you can see I have came into the entire and shows three. Now if I wish to go back and change F to capital, I am able to do so and I make it capital and see, here we go, I made the F capital easily without deleting any command. Here now you all get more options like wrap command, grab comments, comments, uncomments, margin there, less use as compared to other commands. So this is the one and function hence you can also get from the text also. Let me show you insert markup. If you need to add any image or any uh, for a sign which is unable to, which is not present on the keyboard, you will be able to enter from here and code for folder. It's not use. It's been, uh, of course, it's, I've switched it off. Not to perform two side by side perform coding. Okay, so this is it. Now I'll see, show you that. I'll tell you what to do next. Now see if I have done this coding here, I go here, it says save and run or run press F5. I'll just keep tap on F5, in fact pressing F5, I'll just press save. See, select file for save as. Now make sure the file name is save is in small letters and does not have space in between them. So let me write mat lab intro save permission is in ok so i'll save it in the desktop matlab intro yeah now it has been saved in the matlab now this tab open says change folder add to path cancel or help we don't need any help we don't want to cancel we don't want to change the path of the folder file change folder definitely will go for the change folder first may tell you that to run this file you can either change matlab current folder or add its folder to the matlab path see it's all depend on the path where you have installed your matlab all the files will be saved there if you want to fail, uh, save the file separately you have to go in into another another place or another drive you have to create a folder and make that uh, edit that part into the settings so now as I say change folder. Yeah. So since you can see that I have not performed any full coding, in my coming videos we'll see that I perform a full coding and new tab opens. 
I will most probably see in the next video. So this is the that. It is this all. And see, this is the you basically save, file, edit, text. There is nothing such more to use. As soon as we increase the level, or I'll increase the level for you using the MATLAB. I'll side by side also discuss the usage of these other symbols. But for now, let's keep it simple and steady. And one more thing I would like to show you that this is the command history type. See, all the commands which have been used till date will be shown in this tab. See, the date and time has been shown to perform various operations on matrices. This is the operation that I performed. And you can see that no operation is being performed. Shown here, which I have been using the command panel. They are only being operation coding in the show, which I have used in a control plus n tag. And not in the control plus n tag. You can just clear the coding as see command, clear command, install, show, yes. Just minimize it back again. File. In fact, if you see this uh, sheet with an orange star, just tap on it and see, a new tab opens. Like I did for control plus n, you can do it for there. So, this is all. And uh, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you. So this is all of the video. I would like everyone to please like this video and keep stick to more upcoming videos to learn more about MATLAB. And if you have any doubt with to MATLAB and installations, please kindly drop a comment, and we'll surely contact you ASAP. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.